what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's like this dude's have doing a shake weight or something over here. I don't know if he's beating his wiener or if he's using a freaking shake weight. Hello, everybody. Great still plays. And we're checking out a new game for the channel called Evil Labs. So this is another early access title. The developer sent me a key so I could check it out. This is going to be a tycoon stacks generating style of game as I often enjoy. However, this one fully embraces capitalism in its most glorious form. Yes. Not only do we produce the medicine to heal the sick in our pharmacy, but unbeknownst to the public, we also have an evil laboratory that produces all kinds of diseases and deadly toxins with which to infect the populace so that we get more people seeking out our medical care. It's perfect, really. It's the, That's the smartest thing I've ever heard of. I've done the tutorial. There's a whole bunch of different scenarios. You can also do free play. But I kind of want to do one of these over here. I think there's one called like the Tycoonist or something right over here. we go The Tycoon in this scenario. You'll have to raise your money to 1 million Anything goes that's what I like to hear. Let's try that we can do free play as well But I kind of feel like having a goal just to check things out was kind of cool. So Over here to start again. There is I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick actually there is all kinds of stuff here. Uh, so obviously there's some things for us to build again links in the description below I'm gonna have them if you want to check it out. There's a lot of research here uh, Everything from diseases to production styles to the staff that you can have Over here. We have the development for our actual diseases I think one of them uh, like the very first one I learned was like fungus or something like that and Obviously, there's a bunch more I haven't actually done any of those here we have all the different zones of places that we can infect. Oh wow, military power very high. I don't really know like what is better than others in the tutorial. It had you infect this little red island area, but it has a very high military power. I don't know if it matters or not. Let us go. I think we have 1200 money, no research points, a little bit of electric power and zero staff. Let us go and hire ourselves one sad schmuck. His, his job will be to start formulating new medicine so that we can sell it. And I don't think that we have any medicine right now to formulate. Let us go over to... We're going to need a couple things. We're going to need a production area for a small factory. Now, you're going to notice the way this works is all of our office stuff can be built up here. <laughs> Evil Labs, we've got the cure. I don't know if I would have named it that right out the gate. We have an underground area where we put all of our uh, unsavory stuff. So let's go ahead and put huh? this down here. We're going to take our buddy and oh, cool. we're going to get him started making the various medicines that we're going to need to actually, you know, turn a profit. While he's doing that, let's go grab another guy. I'll uh, we'll go up here to two. I think that's the most we can have right now. Well, that's the most money we have right now. Mm -hmm. And we need him to start helping of these course. people over here. You're going to see individuals begin to line up outside of evil labs incorporated and they're gonna want those fat stacks of cash now over here it says things like life auto recovery stamina auto recovery i assume what this does is if like people need it they'll do what it takes to get it done right over here you can see we've got items starting to pour in over here we only have one dude right now selling it we have one dude over here making it we're gonna need more guys to get stuff done. So let's go back over to the build area. We are gonna want a research laboratory fairly soon. We've got 30 more power to work with. This costs 500 to make. So we're gonna need that cash. We can fast forward time along. But the other thing that we're gonna need is we need to take care of these guys' needs. I'm gonna keep time moving regularly while I talk about this. So how it works is people have life, stamina, hunger, and fun. And for the most part, it looks like they can gain this stuff through staff buildings the bedroom to sleep the mess hall to eat and the living room to I don't know I've got to show you guys this I have no idea what this is it almost looks like they're using a friggin shake weight or something like that first things first though we'll go ahead and grab a bedroom how do I want to build this I think I'm gonna build all the living room stuff over here and maybe all the evil stuff out this way it looks like you can burrow through the ground and keep expanding your laboratory as well I don't know if we're going to have to uh, you know what I mean like learn different researches in order to do that so you can see, money is easy come, easy go right now. We're only turning a profit of a couple of bucks at a time. And our buddy over uh -huh. here isn't really making that much stuff. I kind of wonder if we can have two guys 
doing things at the same time. We can have up to five employees right now. All right. We should have enough money for a third dude, which is good. Let's go ahead and buy him over here. So we can grab him. Our guys are getting, like, super tired. So what I'm going to do My pleasure. is I'm going to have that guy go to sleep. When their stamina gets down to zero, they work at, like, half pace or something like that. So things do not go very fast. When the hunger gets down to zero, they start to starve. Huh? So we're going to have to handle that as well. I don't think that more than three huh? guys right now is exactly what we want. We first need to get our production set up to where we're producing the appropriate amount of goods comparative to what we can sell at a time. All right. The hunger's getting real over here. I've been working. It costs 500 money to get the mess hall going. Huh? Oh, I also My found question. out that I can set people up so that they auto do the stuff that is required when they are uh, like getting too tired or getting too uh, hungry mm -hmm. and stuff like that, which is My awesome. Pleasure. So you don't have to like totally micromanage these guys. Okay, so we just got enough for a mess hall. We need to build that right now. Wow, this thing's huge. Uh, we're gonna put this, yeah, over here. And now mm -hmm. while we're at it, we'll give everyone at the 10% mark mm -hmm. for their hunger. They'll go ahead and start, Ooh, that's not what I wanted. For the 10% mark for their hunger, mm -hmm. They're going to go and grab something to eat. And they should go and do that themselves. So over here, that guy's going to get something huh? to eat. This guy's sleeping for right now. We're going to need more cartons of medicine because we're running out and people are coming up here to grab it. As a matter yeah. of fact, I'm going to have you working. He'll sleep when the time comes. He knows. This mm -hmm. guy over here is getting to the point where he's huh? going to have to have something to eat too. They just drink martinis, basically. That's exactly what happens. I'm surprised that we can infect anything. We have a biohazard over here, but I don't think I've I don't think I've prepared any kind of diseases yet. We don't have any disease developed or anything like that, so I don't know what I would be infecting right now. So for right now, what we're gonna worry about is probably getting a research building done. Yeah, see this guy over here, he's all well, done. Let's yeah. make sure someone is manning this at all times. This is the only way that we have to make money. So we need to make sure that someone's sitting there. Otherwise, these poor guys, these guys are so impatient. They're like, oh, I haven't been held in 10 minutes. I'm out of here, you scumbags. So we need to be, yeah. Oh, oh, what? see that right there? That guy was unhappy, I think. I didn't hear the cha-ching of the money. There we go. That's what I like to hear, the cha-ching huh? of the money. All right. So we just got a little bit more cash over here, which means we can start to build our basic laboratory. And that's exactly what we want, because now we can start getting legitimate huh? research points. How's everyone doing huh? over here? Uh, let's grab huh? this guy. I want yeah. him to start researching so we can get those research points. Now, these guys over here, huh? how you doing on stamina? Huh? He's okay. He's doing all right. We do need to get a living room done pretty soon, too, because we're going to need a place for these poor saps to have some fun. Huh? Once this guy gets a little bit more stamina, I'm going to have him continuing to work on the production line. Now, there is a ton of upgrades for every single room, but we have to unlock them through laboratory stuff, through our research points. So you can see right here, 25, 26. It goes up pretty fast, My actually. Pleasure. Get this guy working over here. We're at 90%, 100%, there we go. So that should be a third barrel going in. I see every once in a while, they do two at once, which is kind of nice. Like they sell two cartons at one time. And if we click on this, you can see a work poster. What the hell does that do? Do it through research. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see over huh? here. This guy is still doing research. Mm -hmm. This guy over here is just making stuff. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy over here. We still have three left that can be sold. So I definitely want someone working up here to sell this stuff. And once this guy's mm -hmm. done sleeping, I don't know, maybe I'll get him slept to like, slept to like 50 or so. And then we're going to get him started back on making more and more medicine. You can see we're already up to 70 some odd points. As a matter of fact, we can we can spend some of it right now. Uh, let's go over here to research and disease manipulation. Here we go. Now we know how to manipulate diseases, and there's a ton of look at this: lethality, spores manipulation, disease points plus one. Ooh. Disease potency, symptoms, insects contagion. Oh man, air contagion. All right, let me slow things down real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get. Mm -hmm. You, of course. you start making more of the products that we're going to need. Let's go over here to infect population. And uh, we're going to go... Who do we want to infect? Uh, someone with the lowest military power. How about this place over here? Yeah. Let's go ahead and infect them. We just threw a friggin' disease. Oh, Lord, it's the news. 
An outbreak of a recently discovered disease is causing panic in the population. Okay. According to scientists, it can so it can cause several symptoms. Yes, including even death. Wow. I don't know. All right. Authorities, however, claim there is nothing to fear, as Evil Labs has already announced that they will be able to synthesize a car for the disease and that it's already on the market. That's so strange, man. How we're coming up with the with the cure so quickly. This is all the information we have so far. Total infected, a whole bunch of nothing. Okay. So, I think one of the reasons that we didn't actually infect anyone is we need to develop this. There we go. Disease development. Air, chemical, bodily fluids, and then pathogen. So right now we have fungus. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, and again, I don't know 100% yet if this is going to cause people to like you know, legitimately start to come to our lab more often than others. Let's go get this guy started to research. The other thing that we're going to have to do, we have a couple of bucks over here. We're going to have to get our fun thing going on. Huh? How are you doing, good sir? Oh, he's so hungry and he's so annoyed for the most part. We need more workers. To the worker area. Staff. 300. You got it. You, huh? sir. Get over here. Now... See, every time we end up getting more and more of, like, these different areas unlocked. But the problem is we need more staff mm -hmm. to get all this crap done. See, right now this guy's hunger is pretty low. But we definitely yeah. need more of this. So I'm going to get him doing that. Let's go over to build. We're going to want a living room ASAP. How big is the living room, though? Oh, it won't even show me until I get enough money. All right. All right. We got enough money. Let's go ahead and build. We're going to build ourselves a nice living room. Oh, and it just barely fits. Thank you, God. All right. Put a nice living room over here. Now, people are going to start using the living room big time. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's like this dude's have doing a shake weight or something over here. I don't know if he's beating his wiener or if he's using a freaking shake weight. One way or the other. Huh? It definitely works for getting the fun up. This guy over here is like sipping a, a huh? latte or something. So that I totally understand. But the other guy, I really don't know. We are totally out of boxes right now, though. We do have a lot of research points. We can also start doing another disease. Which I'm probably going to try and do. We didn't do well over here, so we can try a different one. Military power is high, low, medium, medium. Very high, very low. We can try zone 7 over here. Uh, we have, as of right now, I think just the funguses. I'm going to slow things down real quick. We have the fungus, humid and dark places. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe if we do down south over here, something will happen. Let's find out. Infection, go! What will it all mean? All right, we got a news report coming in over here, folks. This is a breaking news disease outbreak report. Discovered disease causing panic in the population. According to scientists, it can cause several symptoms, including death. Claim there's nothing to fear. Okay, evil lab synthesizing a cure. Okay. Oh, we've got some infections. Yes. We haven't killed anyone. And there's two more infected people. Okay, got it. So every time we increase, yes, and so people are starting to line up over here. That's what I like to see. Good. Good. All right, we need to start using our research points to increase our ability to make cash. So one of the very first things that I would want to do is figure out how to get this factory area upgraded. All right, the research points are pouring in over here. One of the very first things I think we're going to want to do over here in the research, I've been interested... There's one that says uh, a resource building, which will make our guys, like, maybe be able them to have them get experience points. Because if we click huh? on them right now, they have experience, but they're not getting any of it. I imagine because we need to open that stuff first. We don't have any goods right now. We need administrative office prior to being able to set goods prices. But one of the things that we can do, if we go over to production, we can get factory upgrades. Uh, I'm pretty interested in that. I, I don't know exactly what this does. But if it makes production go faster, it sounds like exactly what we need. Because our biggest issue right now is how slow production happens. Of course. I'm going to send this guy back over here for right now to get more production done. So, 253. Okay, we're ready. Let's freaking do this. Research. Factory upgrades. Right there. So, now we have first tier factory upgrades. So, what does this, what does this legitimately get us? Work poster. Works as a subconscious level. Okay, so it increases staff speed. All right, yeah. Let's put one of those. Work harder. <laughs> That's what it is. This is what this. This is what my hard-earned money has gotten me. How much is the next one? One thousand research points. Mother of God. All right. Well, huh? the research is good though. 
it definitely turned out to help because you can see we're starting to get more stuff over here. We're selling two at a time, so that's kind of ruining My everything. Pleasure. Go over here, get us more research done, and I think what we're going to look for is probably the human resource office. All right, we're out of power, so we're going to need a small power generator. This is going to give us 40 more power. Now, we have to research something in order to dig deeper into the <laughs> into the freaking core of the earth over here. But for right now, I think getting a second one of these up will outweigh everything else. So that's probably my priority right now. So let's go over here. Small power generator. And I'm going to throw this right over here. There we go. Now we got 40 more power. We should be getting a little bit more money over here pretty soon. We still have a couple of crates, like, over here. So that's good. Let's go back over to the build area. Production. 500 for a small factory. But having a second small factory... It's fantastic. I just, I really want this. So, now the other thing that we can do is laboratory expansion. 50 points for that if we want to do that. Or I can just go straight for the human resource office. I'm probably going to go for the human resource office. All right, 475. One more sale over here. And we're going to get to have our second factory. And I'm so happy about this. Right over here, another factory. We're going to use up all our available space right now. Right there. Alright, so now we have a secondary factory. I may even grab another dude mm -hmm. at some point. Okay, get over here and start churning out more stuff. Yeah, see, we're almost always completely out of stuff. So we want more as fast as possible. And now that we're doubling up, we should be able to take care of more. And see this? Two, when people have to go and, like, grab some fun or something like that, someone is working get more crates done. Oh, yeah. The stacks should be pouring in. Now, I will say, I do want our research. We got five more research points that we need to open up the human resource building. So, let's get that done right over here. Boom. Okay. So, we're done. Research. Staff. Human resources. Right there. Now, if we go over here to building, we should be able to do it now. I do believe, perhaps. Human resources under admin. There we go. A thousand dollars. Needed to unlock staff upgrades. I do want staff upgrades, though. I think it's going to help. Now, I'm assuming the admin building can be built up here. You notice, like, we can't put a bedroom or anything up here. So only certain, only certain, like, building functions can be in the corporate office. All of our dastardly deed stuff has to be underground. So we can't do anything like that. I'm not too worried about it. I think that one living room, one of the uh, mess halls, and one of the bedrooms is probably fine for right now. The only thing that'll kill them is not eating. Not sleeping doesn't kill them, luckily. We're already at $425 right now, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, got, I keep an eye on these guys, though. My pleasure. I wish that you could send them to, like, auto-do something. There's a little question mark over here, but we don't. we can't actually do anything with it quite yet. Holy crap, our stock is going up big time. Look at this. This is awesome. Like, now, we have a surplus all the time. Before, we were struggling to keep these shelves filled. But now that I can dual wield these mm -hmm. guys, it is turning out fantastically. In fact, this guy's going to get ready to wake up fairly soon. And when he does, I may put him under the research area. Because as of right now, I don't think that we're going to need a ton more. We have nine in storage. This young lass over here feeling sick after contracting some sort of horrible fungus-borne yes. illness. Let's go ahead and send you over here. Huh? I'm going to grab you. He's getting hungry yeah. soon, but I want someone manning the front desk at all times. If there's no one manning the front desk, we can't make any money. Like, this guy's probably going to turn away. Actually, I think that may be a woman. But she's probably going to get pissed off. If you take too much time, you're going to see they're going to get unhappy. Okay, good. We managed to sell that to her. Excellent. Everyone else working as they should be? Yep. Research points are pouring in. Money's pouring in. We didn't have something this guy wanted. It's probably a different product or something. All right, due to this huge surplus, I think it's time for us to start synthesizing another disease. We need to get people sick. If we can get a nice long line over here, we should make a lot of money very quickly. You can see we're at 30% right now. I think this guy's going to end up going to sleep. Huh? This guy's also yeah. probably going to sleep. I need someone working the front desk. Someone get up there and work the cash register for the love of God. Someone must be on the cash register at all times. Let me see this. Okay, we have to unlock all this right now. We have more cashiers. Oh, that would be so good. Unlock that through research. Huh? All right, you get over here. My pleasure. Keep researching our fungus. I want that done ASAP. How hungry huh? are you? Are you still, like, super hungry? 
Eh, you're fine. Get over here and work harder. Get more surplus over here for right now. What do we have? 50%? All right. Pretty soon we'll be at 100 and I can start distributing this to the, uh, the poor sad nations of the world. All right. 80%. 90%. Ready. Okay. So yeah. now you go over here and keep working. Infect. We're going to do zone alertness. Zero, zero. Okay. So we have to go to a place where there's not a lot of zone alertness probably. Let's go ahead and infect over here. And see what we got with our disease outbreak. So right now we have... Okay. So again, seven infected. Fantastic. All right. Very good. All the news for today. Have a good night. Yeah, you have a good one too, lady. All right. So you can see right now, more people pouring in. We have enough money for the admin office. Oh, yes. Human resources, boys. Human resources. Can I, put, can I not put it up here? All right. For some reason, I can't build that. I don't know why yet. So let's check out... Let's see over here. Uh, advanced lab. We need 500 points for that. A bigger form of the basic laboratory. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, no, no. Expansion. 50. Okay. So let's do that. Floor expansion 1 digs down to expand the laboratory. Okay, so we need 100 research points to get that done. I'm gonna see if I dig down, if it'll- It looked like I should be able to put it over here, but for some reason I wasn't able to. So I don't know if it's because I don't have space. I can't put it up here for some reason. I would have thought that inside this area is where you'd be able to put the admin office, but definitely not. All right. Down we go. Let's take a look. Over here. Uh, admin. Oh, you do have to put it down here. That's interesting. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's put it right beneath the, the hazardous area. There we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Oh, we need someone to work in the front office. Or the uh, cash register area, I should say. So over here, manages staff. Needed to unlock staff upgrades. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, if we click on this dude... What happens? Is there anything I can do about this guy? Staff. Ah, here we go. So we can have more max staff, walk speed, and work speed. Oh, the work speed would be so good. 20,000 research points. Oh my god. Recreation? Oh. Advanced fun buildings. Because your staff deserves a little fun. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, bunk beds. 550 research points for bunk beds. Oh, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. You, sir! Okay. Get over here and continue researching. I want advanced bunk beds. It sounds amazing. And I think it's going to be important because then I can sleep two people at the same time. Let us go and hire yet another schmuck. So we will have the maximum capacity of five people mm -hmm. right now. You get over here. Actually, now I can have someone developing a disease at all times. The only thing is whether or not like developing the diseases right now, like when they're kind of weak, is screwing up the late game? I really don't know. I've never, well, I've never gotten through the beginning of the game, so I don't know what the late game is, is like right now. We have $325. All right. New disease is done. Let's send it to a place we already had it in and see what happens. There's still one infected person over there. Infect that again! Tell me all about the disease outbreak. Like I said, we only have the one type of disease right now. Okay. So, another seven people. Okay, good, good, good. Wow. There's actually quite a few people stacking up over here. Yes, look at them coughing and being sad. I'm intentionally taking a long time to heal you. I'm intentionally huh? taking a long time to heal you because this way I hope it spreads to the rest of the individuals in the line. 475 bucks right now. We do need a couple more crates of goo. Huh? This guy over here is not doing anything, yeah. so you start researching, good sir. All right, we're going to go ahead and mess around with our disease a little bit. Air contagion. Sounds good. It worked for M. Night Shyamalan. So let's go ahead and do it. We've got right there. A hundred research points. I have a hundred research points. There we go. Water contagion. Ooh. Okay. So now that we have extra contagious huh? contagions, you, sir, yeah. get over here with the development. I want that done. Continue working on the research, which is good. This guy needs to get some sleep. Huh? Actually, how are you doing? Your stamina is kind of yeah. low, but I need someone working on this over here so we can get this good to get this done. This guy needs some fun. This guy over here. What are you doing? Oh, you're going back over to the project area. Well, that's fine, huh? but I want someone doing this. This guy went to sleep. This guy's been tired forever, and this other guy is like, Ah, you snooze, you lose. So he took the bed from him. I've got no one in the front office right now, which is kind of craptastic. Ah, uh, it's making me very unhappy. 
Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. stop. Suspend the research right now. We need someone up here. This guy's stamina is almost completely depleted. But someone up here serving the populace is going to be better than no one up there serving the populace, even if he is dead mm -hmm. tired. Oh, this guy's totally yeah. better. Huh? Uh, you yeah. come down here. And if I can select this schmuck when he's going up here. Come on now. There he is. Huh? Come here. Come here. There we go. Of course. You start helping everyone out. Because his stamina is better, he's going to have a much easier mm -hmm. time helping the people. This guy over here is doing pretty yeah. good. We're going to put him in the work harder area. Huh? You're not doing anything right now, so start yeah. researching. His stamina is down with a bed taken. Back over to the infection. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's uh, let's slow things down a little bit. Develop disease. We've already done that. Contagion. Air. Okay. Two disease points. Symptoms. Oh, look at all these symptoms and everything. Oh, so you spend your disease points, and that's how it makes a more powerful disease. So now we have a spores type of disease that goes through the air. So let's go ahead and infect again. See if this does any better. All right, here we go. I, I imagine there's no other additional uh, symptoms because we haven't researched any of them. So, okay. Yep, very good. Okay, so now we've got nine people infected. Yes! Good! Good! The infections are coming right along! We got another almost a thousand bucks. So in the beginning over here, money doesn't really come that fast. You have to really, really work on it. And I think that like expanding, like I would probably drop everything down. So I would put another laboratory uh, under this laboratory, maybe another mess hall under this mess hall. But getting those extra factories really helped. But holy crap, to get to a million dollars, I'm hoping that this ball mm -hmm. starts rolling super fast because we are of going course. to need... Oh, I can put a work poster up here. No no problem. An extra 150 bucks for 10% more speed. No reason not to do that. Or was it 15%? It was 10 or 15. But well worth it to get the secondary factory. Guys, what do you think of Evil Labs? A tycoon game where not only are you selling the cure, but you're also developing the disease. I think that's kind of cool. I'll bet as you get further and further into the craziness of the diseases, that's when like the big stacks start coming. Because right now we're just infecting a couple of people at a time. But if you start to infect like 100 people or something, I can imagine the lines being out the door. These upgrades over here for a second and third cashier, more ex store expansions. But right now, there is a ton of research options. Like, I am very surprised. Look at all this stuff, man. It's crazy how much just disease stuff there is. And probably getting the thousand research points to upgrade our factories, our currently existing ones, a little bit more would be great too. Hey, feel free to let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.